Hello students, in the previous session we have discussed about consumer behavior analysis, right. So today we will discuss about a new topic that is buying motives of consumers. What is buying motives of consumers? So these buying motives are those influences or considerations which provide the impulse to buy or induce action. So this is an action or determined choice in the purchase of goods and services, right. So these buying motives are or considerations which provide uh, to impulse to buy and induce action or determine choice in the purchase of goods and services. Every human activity has a motive behind it, right. So you know that. So also the buying activity of every human has or every buyer or every customer has a motive behind it. A buyer does not simply purchase something, right. So he takes a decision to purchase something only when a motive makes him to buy it or else inner feeling or urge which makes him to buy the goods or services. Thus, every buyer buys a particular product because of certain motive or motives. Let us discuss what you what is motive. According to W. J. Stanton, a motive may be defined as a drive or an urge for which an individual seeks the satisfaction. Or one more def definition is there in the words of R. S. Dover: A motive is an inner urge that moves or prompts a person to some action. So by this uh, definition, it is clear that a motive is a drive or it is an urge for which an individual seeks satisfaction or an customer or consumer he seeks satisfaction. So a motive means uh, it's a, a one of the uh, every human activity or it is uh, in every human activity uh, uh, there is a motive behind it right. So in the same way in the buying activity also every human or every buyer or every consumer has a motive behind it. So this motive is a uh, motive means it is an inner feeling or uh, uh, it is an uh, what it is a urge which makes the customer or consumer to buy the goods or services. Let us discuss what is buying motive. In the words of W. J. Stanton, a motive may be defined as a drive or an urge for which individual seeks satisfaction. It becomes a buying motive when an individual seeks satisfaction through the purchase of or purchase of something. So by this uh, it is clear that buying motive means is the inner feeling or urge or instinct or drive, desire, stimulus, thought or emotion that makes a buyer uh, buy a certain product or services to satisfy their needs. So buying motives of a buyer refers to influences or forces which force him to buy a particular product or service. So by this definition it is clear that a buying motive is an it is an inner feeling or it is an urge or it is a desire or it is an emotion of a customer to buy a certain product or services to satisfy their needs right so in the next we will discuss about characteristics or features of buying motives a buying motives of a consumer is the urge of the consumer which forces him to buy a particular product i already told in the last uh, previous uh, slide that is uh, buying motive means it is an inner feeling or urge or desire or it is an emotion that makes the buyer to buy certain goods or services which makes or which uh, makes him uh, to buy the goods or uh, uh, this leads to satisfy their needs or wants right a buying motive is a mental instinct why it is mental instinct because it is an inner feeling or it is an urge or it is an emotion of the consumer which which makes them or which uh, which makes them to buy the goods or services to satisfy their needs and buying motive comes from within the man within the man means it is a buying motive is always comes from the consumer so it is a inner feeling of the consumer it is neither the inbuilt characteristics of the product or nor is a result of advertising or sales promotion program of the marketer so uh, in some cases it is a uh, inbuilt characteristics of the product if in case the product is a good quality product then usually uh, the consumer they buy the goods or else it is a result of an advertising advertising. So usually uh, to sell the goods to the particular consumer, uh, market uh, what they have to, what they do know, they, they make some program or sales promotional activities. So uh, some cases this buying motive is a result of advertising or sales promotional program. Next uh, the classification of buying motives or types of buying motives. So this buying motives of a consumer or buyer may be classified into two broad groups that is product buying motive and 
uh, patronage buying motive so this product buying motives can be again subdivided into emotional product buying motive and rational product buying motive similarly patronage buying motives again also uh, subdivided into emotional patronage buying motive and rational patronage buying motive or uh, let us discuss one by one first one or product buying motive what is this product buying motive so product buying motive means it is a motive or these influences or these motives are influences and reasons which prompt a buyer to choose a particular product in preference to other product so take for example a product a design of the product or shape of the product or dimension or size color package performance price etc are the psychological attraction of the product so which makes the customer to buy the product or else some of the other uh, features are there take for example uh, uh, like uh, status of the uh, purchaser this is a psychological attraction of the product so in short we can say that uh, uh, this uh, product buying motives refers to all those characteristics of the product which induce a buyer to buy it in a preference to other product so this buying product or product buying motives may be subdivided into two groups emotional product buying motive and rational product buying motive uh, first one emotional product buying motive what is this when a buyer decides to purchase product without thinking over the matter logically and carefully that is without much reasoning he is said to have been influenced by emotional product buying motive so when the consumer selecting a particular product he will not decide or uh, without thinking over the product he purchase the goods or in this case he said to have been influenced by emotional product buying motive so this emotional product buying motives includes the following that is pride pride and prestige or emulation or imitation affection comfort or desire for comfort sex appeal or sex attraction ambition desire for distinctiveness or individuality what is pride or uh, prestige so many products are sold by the sellers by appealing to the pride or prestige of the product take for example diamond merchants diamond merchants they sell their products uh, by suggesting that the buyers that the possession of the uh, diamonds or this increases their prestige or social st status so this buyers or many buyers are proud of possessing some goods they feel that possession of the product increases their social prestige or status next one imitation so imitation means uh, take for example a housewife uh, may like to have a silk saree for the simple reason that all the neighboring housewife have silk sarees so they are imitating one another right so this emulation or imitation the desire the desire to imitate others is one of the important emotional buying motives right next one uh, affection what is this affection so some products are uh, uh, purchased by the buyers because of their affection or love for others take for example a husband uh, may buy a costly silk saree for his wife or father may buy uh, buy a costly watch for his son right so this is an example so affection or love for others is one of the stronger emotional buying motives so this influencing the purchasing decision of the buyers right and one more is comfort and desire for comfort many products take for example fans refrigerators washing machine or cushion beds etc are bought by the people because of their desire for comfort they feel that if if they have these goods take for example fans and refrigerators or uh, ac if, if they feel that these products gives more comfort for them right so that this desire for comfort is one of the important emotional buying motive and sex appeal or sex attraction so buyers uh, buy and use certain things as they want to attract you to the members of opposite sex right so take for example men and women they buy cosmetics so they buy oh, shirts they buy different colors of different types of shoes right they buy costly dresses so etc because of this emotional motive or sex appeal so this sex appeal or sex attraction means uh, this uh, here the buyers buy uh, products or services uh, if they want to be attractive to the members of opposite sex and next one ambition uh, take for example this for instance it is an ambition that makes many people who do not have the facilities to pursue their college ed education through 
regular colleges so pursue their education through correspondence courses uh, for the reason lack of uh, finance take for example if a student they, he want to do education but uh, for the he doesn't have enough money to do the education right so what he will do you know uh, he goes or he study or he pursue their education through or uh, correspondence courses instead of regular college or regular uh, classes right this is what ambition and desire for distinctiveness or individuality so sometimes customers buy certain things because they want to be possession of things uh, which are not possessed by others so purchasing and wearing a particular type of dress by some people is um, because of their desire for distinctiveness or individuality so desire for distinctiveness or desire to be distinct from others is one of the important emotional buying motive and one more is their hunger and thirst so these are hunger take for example food stuff drinks etc are bought by the people because of their motive so this hunger and thirst is also one of the important emotional buying motive and habit many customers buy a particular thing because of habit or take for example cigarettes liquors etc because of their sheer habit that's why habit is also one of the emotional considerations so influencing on purchasing decision of the customer right next one rational product buying motive so here when a buyer decides to buy a certain thing after careful consideration that is after thinking over the matter consciously and logically and he is said to have been influenced by rational product buying motive so this rational product buying motives includes the following so uh, what is rational product buying motive rational product buying motive means a buyer decides to buy a certain things or certain products or certain services after careful consideration or after careful thinking over the matter consciously and logically then he said have been influenced by rational product buying motive or oh, some of the factors are there first one safety and security economy relatively low price suitability utility or versatility durability of the product convenience of the product what is safety or security take for example in the bank uh, we need a bank locker why why we need bank locker to Uh, safeguard against the theft right similarly vitamin tablets tonics medicines are bought by the people because because why they are uh, buying these vitamin tablets tonics medicines to safeguard their health and protect themselves against diseases this is one of the safety take for example two wheelers they 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 buy the uh, helmet why to protect them right to pro- protect the head or head injury right and next one economy uh, economy saving or th- that is economy means it is a saving in operating cost take for example bajaj scooters are, are preferred by the people because of the economy or saving in the operating cost or petrol cost uh, which takes a low amount of uh, petrol right these uh, bajaj scooters or else uh, uh, if you take a heronda splendor bike right uh, in heronda splendor bike Uh, we will get uh, more mileage right this reduce the petrol cost or this reduce the operating cost next one relatively low price so buyers low prices is one of the rational by most of the buyers uh, compare the prices of competing products and buy things which are relatively cheaper right when uh, take for example uh, when we go to uh, a mobile shop usually we compare take for example samsung and vivo which one is very cheaper and which one is a very good quality product then uh, then we, we usually we compare these products right so we buy things are relatively cheaper which mobile phones have a very less amount or very cheaper amount then we buy that mobile and suitability so uh, if, uh, take for example a buyer who has a small dining room or naturally he goes in for a small dining table that is suitable that is uh, that fits in well in the small dining hall or dining room so uh, here the intelligent buyers consider the suitability of the products before buying them so which suits which suits them so they they buy that usually the consumers they buy the goods or services which suits them right 
and utility or uh, versatility here utility means quality of the product which makes the suitable for a variety of users utility of the product is one of the important rational buying motive so here the people uh, they purchase things which have utility or which have quality which can be put to the varied users so utility means usually the consumers they buy goods and services which are or, or else uh, products which have good quality right and the durability of the product so many products are bought by the people only on the basis of their durability take for example wooden furniture right so some customers or some buyers they buy wooden furniture uh, if if that uh, the cost of that wooden furniture if it is costlier then they are uh, more durable than ordinary wooden furniture then they go they go for that quality furniture right so this is what durability of the product convenience of the product many products are bought by the people because they are more convenient to them for instance take for example automobile or automatic watches uh, gas stove etc are bought by the people because of the convenience provided by them this is about rational product buying motive our uh, next second type that is uh, uh, patronage buying motive patronage buying motives refers to those considerations or reasons which prompt a buyer to buy the product wanted by him from a particular shop in preference to other shops so they are those considerations or reasons which make a buyer patronize a particular shop in preference to other shops while buying a product but here in the uh, patronage buying motive the usually consumer they prompt or they 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 select a particular shop which patronize to other shop right so here which here the consumer the which or this product or this shop which make a consumer to buy the product from a particular shop so there are two types again emotional patronage buying motive and rational patronage buying motive what is emotional patronage buying motive so when a buyer patronizes a shop or uh, without applying his mind or without reasoning he said to have been influenced by emotional patronage buying motive so without applying the mind or without applying the reasoning so that is they purchase things required by him from a particular shop so they always they they purchase a particular things or particular product from a particular shop without thinking over the matter of shop or without applying the mind or without thinking or without reasoning they buy the goods from a particular shop that is called emotional patronage buying motive so this includes the uh, following that is appearance of the shop display of the goods uh, in the shop recommendations of others imitation prestige habit appearance of the shop so some people make their purchases from a particular shop because of the good or attractive appearance of the shop right so on the second one display of goods in the shop attractive display of goods in the shop also makes the buyers patronize a particular shop uh, and recommendation of others right some people uh, purchase their requirements from a particular shop because that shop has been recommended to them by others by their friends by their relatives by their families so if they recommend that shop then usually the buyers go for that shop right and imitation so here some customers or cons consumers they make their purchases from a particular shop just because other people make their purchases from that shop right and uh, prestige so some people consider it is a prestige to take coffee from a five star hotel than a local local hotel so prestige is also one of the emotional patronage by a motive of the buyers so if you if they if they drink in or if if they have the coffee in a five star hotel then it increase or it shows the prestige of the particular customer habit a habit is also one of the important fashional uh, emotional patronage by motive some people make their purchases from a particular shop for the simple reason that uh, they have been yeah, habitually making their purchases from that shop this is about emotional patronage buying motive and so the second one rational patronage buying motive what is that rational patronage buying motive when a buyer patronizes a shop 
when a buyer patronizes a shop after careful consideration that is after much logical reasoning and after careful thinking he said to have been influenced by rational patronage buying motive so this rational patronage buying motive includes the following convenience low price charged by the shop credit facilities offered services offered efficiency of salesman wide choice treatment repetition of the shop convenience so here many uh, customers or many buyers they usually they buy their requirements from the nearby shop as it is convenient to them to make their purchases right so low price charged by the shop uh, if the uh, seller they uh, they price or they charge low price for their particular product uh, then naturally many people will go there uh, or will make their purchases and from that shop right and credit facilities uh, some customers they don't have enough money to make cash purchases every time so so every time they prefer to make their purchases from a shop which offers credit facilities or services offered after sale services or various sales services so take for example mobile or uh, washing machine or television so these are required after sale services right if the seller or marketer they they make their after sale services then usually the buyers go for that shop and efficiency of salesman so if the employees are efficient and are capable of helping the others in making their purchases people naturally would flow to such a shop right and wide choice nowadays the consumers they want variety of goods right people generally prefer to make their purchases from a shop which offer wide choice so that's why wide choice is also one of the important rational consideration or rational uh, uh, buying motive and uh, a treatment so here usually people would like to purchase their requirements from a shop where uh, they get a good treatment or well treatment uh, repetition of the shop this is also one of the important factor usually the people would like to make their purchases from a store having repetition or for fair dealing so this is about rational patronage buying motive and next uh, type that is uh, inherent motive and learned motive so here a buying motive is also divided into inherent motive and learned motive inherent motive is also known as innate motive or motives or which derives that stem or needs take for example hunger thirst or uh, sex avoidance of pains etc are examples of inherent buying motive so this is uh, important uh, things in our life that's why this inherent motives are divided and motives learned what is learned motive or acquired from social environment and education are called learned or acquired motive for example desire for social recognition or prestige is an example of learned motive and this it may be noted that learned motives are always stronger and more useful buying motive than inherent motives this is about inherent and learned motive and next one primary buying motive and secondary buying motive uh, buying motive is again classified into two so buying uh, primary motive and secondary motive a uh, primary motives are motives such as uh, essential for human life without these uh, human or any consumer or any uh, people they cannot uh, exist right food and drink comfort attractive or attract opposite sex welfare of beloved one freedom from fear and danger to be superior social approval to live longer so these are the what essential things for a human life right so without these things a human cannot live and secondary buying motive so, so these secondary buying motives are motives which are learned from the society so the important secondary buying motives are bargain information cleanliness efficiency convenience dependability and quality style and beauty and economy and profit and curiosity so these are the uh, things are learned by or learned from the society all right so, so that's why these are the secondary motives so these are bargaining formation and uh, dependability and style and beauty so these are what uh, learned from the society right so take for example style and beauty so this style and beauty which uh, we have learned from the society right and uh, uh, what cleanliness and information and dependability or quality these are uh, these are the things which we have learned from the society right so this is about uh, uh, buying motives of consumer different types of buying motives that is uh, product buying motive and patronage buying motive right 
and here is one more thing is there difference between emotional motive and rational motive there are some differences between emotional motive and rational motive so emotional motives are dominated by heart you know that emotion whereas rational motives are dominated by head and mind so emotion motives i already told emotion that is a inner feeling or that is an urge of the customer so that is dominated by heart so inner feeling of the customer whereas rational motives are dominated by head or mind so that is not inner feeling and second one emotional motives generally influence the purchases uh, of a low price and a non non durable goods right so emotional that inner feeling of the customer which makes the customer to buy low price and non durable goods but rational motives if they apply their mind if they apply their head then the customer greatly influence the purchase of high price and durable goods right and in the case of purchase is influenced by emotional motives the purchaser takes a little time in making the purchase decision right in the emotional uh, motive here the purchaser or buyer he takes a little time to make the purchase right so he he is to think but whether that product is uh, suitable or not but in the case of uh, rational motive the purchaser takes much time he takes much time in making purchase decision so this is about difference between uh, emotional motive and rational motive in the next class we will discuss about factors influencing consumer behavior thank you i hope these things are understood right thank you